growing a business, working a full-time job, and trying to take care of everything at home in your life is already stressful on a normal day, let alone when there's a pandemic happening outside. It's so easy to lose focus and momentum, get overwhelmed, and then just bag everything that you are working towards. What if I told you that it is super possible to work on your dreams and goals, continue with the momentum, stay motivated, and kick your feet up and watch Netflix. In this video, I'll be sharing with you five simple tips to help you stay motivated during the tough times so you can grow your business and still rest and enjoy your life. All right, let's get started. If we've never met before, my name is Becca Rich. Thanks so much for tuning in. I help entrepreneurs spend their time and energy on the right things so they can grow their business that is deeply fulfilling. So the first tip to staying motivated is knowing how important it is. Before you do anything, you need to know how important this task is for you and your business. If you're unsure whether it's important or not, check back in with your goals and dreams. Will this thing that you wanna work on bring you closer to your dreams or your vision? Does this task need to get done this week? If it's something that's not really important, you're going to get distracted and it'll add stress onto the entire situation, which you don't need right now. The thing to remember is that you can pick back up on this task later on down the road. And if something is truly important to your goals and your vision, then set yourself up for success. Ask yourself if getting that thing done is more important than distractions, then get rid of the distractions. Set a boundary, put your phone in the other room, do whatever you need to do to be focused and get the task done and go for it. You got this. Tip number two is to get an accountability buddy to help you stay motivated and focused during this time. If you're clear on your why and how important this goal is and you still can't figure out how to get it done or stay motivated to do it, find someone that cares about your success and you and your business and text them. Give them a little shout out. Say that you're going to finish this uh, task or project by this certain time and that will light a fire under your booty and you'll get it done. Then once you finish the task, send them another text message or email and say, I've done it, yay, send some confetti and glitter. You have done it. Tip number three is smaller action, smaller time. So what this means is you wanna break down your big tasks, your big projects that you're working on into smaller and smaller and smaller chunks. And what I like to, to tell my clients and my friends and myself personally is, what can I accomplish in 25 minutes? What can I actually get done in 25 minutes? Not what I'm working towards, what can I finish? When we think about big tasks, they are the reason why we get unmotivated and overwhelmed a lot of the time. So when you put create a freebie or finish your website on your to-do list, it's way too big. Pick something that you can finish in 25 minutes and each little chunk that you bite off will get you closer to that big task being completed in way less time, way less stress, and way less overwhelm. If you're new around here, I am all about self-compassion and doing things in a way that make us feel better instead of worse about ourselves. So tip four is being less hard on yourself. When you are hard on yourself for not finishing everything on your to-do list or the plan, the schedule that you made for yourself this week, does not go to plan. Being hard on yourself is worse and will continue to demotivate you, derail you away from your goals, not towards them. Nine times out of 10, the plan and the to-do list that you make is not going to go according to that plan. So just go into your week knowing that that plan or that list will not happen. It will not get done and that is totally okay. There are lots of tools that you can use to get over those negative thoughts and surpass them in a way so they don't bother you and, and continue to unmotivate you and keep you from reaching your goals and dreams. How you process your emotions is completely unique to you, but how I do them is when I am feeling like I haven't done enough on my to-do list or um, the plan that I made for myself is not panning out, I'll just write down on a piece of paper or in my journal about what negative feelings are coming out of that 
and just looking at it and processing it will help me move on from those negative feelings and get back to serving my clients and building the, the, built, the business and the life that I wanna create. And tip number five is honor yourself and your time. A great way to stay motivated during this time and all the time is to have a list and keep a list of all of the things that you do. I call these lists have done lists. Our brains like to forget about all of the hard work that we do. So start writing down on a piece of paper or in your planner all of the things that you accomplish in a day. List things as ordinary as eating lunch, drinking five glasses of water, or onboarding a new client, or finishing that freebie, or whatever you're working towards, write it down. And it could be watching Netflix for seven hours you'll soon to know that I am a huge Netflix fan. I love watching Netflix. Have done lists encourage feelings of abundance and fulfillment. Having those feelings will continue to motivate you. It will be a positive cycle instead of being hard on yourself. When you go and look at the list of all the things that you've accomplished, you will be way more likely to celebrate yourself, reward yourself, something that your brain really wants, a nice little pat on the back. And honestly, we all put way too much on our to-do list in the first place, so of course things are falling through the cracks. It makes complete sense. These lists will help you be more realistic about what you put on your to-do list going forward because you'll know how long things actually take. And above all, remember that if you've tried everything that I've mentioned above, please give yourself a break. Honor what you need and what will actually bring you closer to your dreams. If you wanna start creating have done lists so you feel motivated and fulfilled, click the link below to download your free PDF. Thanks for watching, bye.